So what's up guys, Jermaine here. Welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. Um, hope everyone's doing well. So today I'm gonna give you guys an update on what's going on as far as like stimulus, um, as far as what's going on with the markets overall. And you know, just give a kind of detailed background on everything um, that you guys can expect. So uh, before we get into it, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And let's do this. So um first um uh, why economists think a fresh government stimulus is so essential essential plus how the virus is uh undermining the u.s dollar and also what we're going to discuss is netflix big subscriber boom could be over so before we start all of that uh let's look at the u.s uh stock futures uh, ticked higher after the S&P 500 slid 0.3 percent on Thursday. Um, the markets in Europe were mixed in early trading, while stocks in Asia rose um, outside Japan. Um, so right now, at the time of recording this, um, it's pre-market time. So the Dow is up 0.2 percent. The S&P 500 futures are up. 0.3 percent nasdaq futures up one percent god nasdaq is just killing it this year <laughs> the uh european stocks is up uh 0.1 percent uh u.s 10-year um yield is down 0.602 percent gold is up 0.4 percent u.s oil down 0.9 percent so that is the futures as of right now. So, um, retail sales in the U.S., uh, an important data point on health of the economy, are nearly back to where they were before the pandemic hit. Um, but without additional government stimulus, economists caution that the uh, recovery, recovery could be in jeopardy, especially as COVID-19 cases in the country continue to rise. Um, and I mean, it seems like day after day we're hitting uh, breaking record numbers as far as this virus is going, as far as no infections. So what's happening now? Um, U.S. Uh, retail sales increased 7.5 percent in June from the prior month, beating Wall Street's expectations. Hence why you see a big um, uptick in the markets. Um, the robust jobs was attributed in part to generous federal assistance, including the $600 in extra weekly unemployment benefits for workers who have lost their jobs. Um, so this is a remarkable achievement given the surge in unemployment the U.S. economy has experienced and serves to underline the effect effectiveness of the government support package. Um, so, However, though, the extra $600 per week is due to expire at the end of this month, and Congress is still debating whether to move forward with an extension that creates a possible benefit cliff that could hit the U.S. economy hard as um, the pandemic cases accelerate in many states. Um, the United States reported more than 77,000 new cases of infections on Thursday. That's the highest daily jump by far. Um, this, if this program expires at the end of the month, as planned, it, there will be a huge drop in incomes for those millions of people at a time when um, reinstatement of COVID-19 containment measures is limiting the opportunities for finding work. Um, so something that I have like on the radar, um, Senate Republicans are slated to release their plan for additional stimulus spending next week which will kickstart a debate in Washington and unrest. Um, yet there's little clarity on how and when Congress and the White House will come together on an agreement. Um, now, as far as speaking on stimulus, uh, the European leaders met Thursday and Saturday in Brussels for the first time in person to submit uh, since the, um, the COVID-19 crisis began. Uh, so they're going to debate over there on the proposal put forward by the European Commission um, and made that will raise um, uh, $750 billion, uh, well, in euros, but that will equate to $857 billion U.S. dollars. 
um, on the financial markets in order to disperse loans and grants to hard hit U, uh, EU states. So a few things to look out for today in the markets, um, BlackRock, um, Ericsson, and State Street report earnings, and that's going to be before the U.S. markets open. So probably by the time this video is out, the market is probably going to be open already and earnings would have been reported already on those companies. Um, also today to look out for um, U.S. housing um, stats and building permits for June post at 8.30 a.m. That's Eastern time. Um, the first reading of the University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey for July arrives at 10 a.m. Eastern Time today. Um, things to look out for next week. Uh, earnings season continues as big names like Coca-Cola and Microsoft will be reporting earnings. Now, as far as Netflix, um, their big subscriber boom could be over. Uh, Netflix has a warning for investors. The massive growth it experienced during the beginning of the pandemic won't be sustainable for the rest of the year. Um, between April and June, Netflix continued to ride high. The company said Thursday that it added 10 million subscribers to a streaming service last quarter, beating its own expectations. But Netflix said it expects to bring in just 2.5 million subscribers between July and September roughly half of what analysts were um, anticipating. Um, and so when the earnings came out after the bell yesterday, Thursday, shares were down 7% pre-market trading on the news. Um, now, remember, the pandemic has boosted demand for streaming services as more people seek out at-home entertainment. Uh, you remember everyone was watching Tiger King, uh, Netflix stock, has climbed 63% year to date. So if you are a shareholder of Netflix, good for you, you've done well. Um, but the massive subscription spree could be coming to an end as restrictions ease in many parts of the world. Netflix also faces fresh competition from Disney Plus, Peacock, and HBO Max, which is owned by uh, CN CNN parent company Warner Media. So uh, it's just a couple things I uh, wanted to let you know, look out for today in the market, what's reporting, and also a few things reporting next week, and also, you know, the insight on Netflix. So let me know in the comment section, do you guys own Netflix or plan on owning Netflix in the future? If you do own it, uh, I would love to know, is this something that you hold as a long-term play? Currently, I personally am not a Netflix owner. I don't own any stock in Netflix. Um, I wish I did, but, you know can't cry with something that I don't have. So, um, yeah, so that's just a couple things to let you know what's going on as far as stimulus, uh, the Netflix earnings, and things to look for as far as the market today and next week. So hope everyone's doing well. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe to the channel. Um, also, check out the links in the description below. It's a lot of goodies there for anybody uh, looking to make any extra money or any resources that you might find helpful as far as real estate and stocks are concerned. So, uh, until next time, peace.